Hey guys, we're here in Granada, Spain, and we've been here three or four days. This week's video is actually from several weeks back when we were in Seville. So this week, I'm going to share with you our visits to the Setas, the Bull Ring, and one of the many churches that we visited. We had a great time there. In the coming weeks, I'm going to add more real life, everyday living type of information to our videos. And in addition to doing our Airbnb tours, at the end of those videos, we're going to offer a critique of what we liked and what we didn't like about that specific Airbnb because people are asking, well, did you like it, etc. So hopefully that will be something that you like, and I hope you watch this video. Thanks. So here we are at the Setas or Mushroom, which is a large uh, wooden viewing platform in the old quarter of Seville. This thing is massive. In fact, it's 85 feet tall, 490 feet long, and 230 feet wide. Here's a scale model of the Setas, and this site is definitely worth coming to visit. Tickets start at about $5, and we got there about 15 to 20 minutes before sunset, which is when uh, the price increases. Um, a few interesting facts um, about the Setas is it is housed on a site that had been vacant for many, many years, and the city tried to determine, you know, what are they going to do with the space, and so they held an international competition to solicit bids of how to best utilize the space, and I believe it was a German uh, architect came up with this design, but it's definitely worth the visit, even if you're afraid of heights like me. Check it out. Another one of the not to miss sites in Seville is the Plaza del Toros, which is the largest and most important bullfighting arena in Spain. Here's a scale model of the arena, and we spent probably, I don't know, 15 to 20 minutes in the museum before we had a chance to walk into the arena itself. So the arena was built back in the 18th century and it can seat 13,000 people, which is a pretty big crowd, even by today's standards. So the museum is open Wednesday through Saturday, and you can get in from 10 to 4. We paid $10 each to get in, and there are discounted tickets available if you are a student or a senior. So check out their website uh, to get the details for that and take a look the re around the museum before we get a tour of the arena. Hope you enjoy. Here we are walking into the arena itself. As you can see, people are pretty well spaced out. And I'm going to go to the dead center and do a 360 degree spin so you can see it from all around. Here's a quick look at the outside of the Plaza del Toros. Another place you don't want to miss is Church of El Salvador, which is a Baroque Roman Catholic church with a very elaborate altar. This church was formerly a mosque. We obviously couldn't talk in the church, but take a look around. If you're interested in going, just know that they are open for cultural visits Monday through Saturday from 10 to 2. We paid $5 each to get in, and it was well worth 
every penny. So take a look around. hope you guys liked that video. Um, in a couple of weeks, I'll also have tours for some additional high points in Seville. We'll also take a day trip to Ronda. We move on to Cordoba, and again, we're here in Granada, Spain. So stay tuned for those videos, and please like, share, subscribe, comment, all of the things, and have a great week. Bye.